before I get back to the work I wanted to share with you guys the story on how I became a real estate agent and it was a very interesting one because real estate wasn't something that hello hello welcome back to my channel okay so if you're new make sure you hit the subscribe button notification bell so that way you don't miss a single video so today we're going to be doing a day in the life of a realtor so i have a listing that i'm preparing right now to hit the market in tampa so if you're looking to buy a condo low fixer upper investor special this one is for you but i wanted to show you guys a little bit of the process a little bit of the behind the scenes so i'm going to be doing the photography for this condo typically i actually hire a photographer but since the property is an investment special, like a fixer-upper, I thought, let me just take it myself since I do have a very nice camera, the Sony. And you guys know your girl knows how to shoot her shots. <laughs> So yeah, I have a professional camera, so it's not gonna be coming out like rinky dink, like, you know, the Fort by owners who take the camera photos with them in the pictures and all weird stuff happening, but any use it. So you guys are gonna check out the behind the scenes of me actually taking pictures for the property. Also, I'm gonna be taking pictures of the amenities as well. After this, I'm going to be telling you guys the story on how I became a real estate agent, as well as the steps that I took because I get so many questions about that. So let's get to it so first and foremost what i want to do is i want to make sure i take a good look around see how everything looks because i don't want to just take pictures of a property with a bunch of mess in the pictures so i want to make sure all the countertops are cleared off everything's put away and looks clean so it can look great on the camera so this condo is going to be very appealing to investors because there is some cosmetics that needs to be done. For instance, an obvious stain in the ceiling, as well as the bedroom is missing its ceiling and some drywall and the floor. So again, this work is not going to be a crazy amount of money. However, typically this is the type of work that investors want to get into. So I did price the property accordingly. So if you're interested in a one bedroom, one bathroom condo in Tampa, make sure you either email me at RebeccaJRealtor at gmail.com or go in the description down below and book a consultation. <laughs> Anyways, let's get back to taking pictures. So I almost forgot to show you guys the pool area. It looks really nice. So I'm gonna take some really good pictures here. This pool is huge, like literally huge. Check it out. Look how big this pool is. Literally top five biggest pools in the community I've seen so far. So I'm all done taking pictures of this amazing property and let's see my work of art. <laughs> So once I get back to the house, we're going to sit down and chat about how exactly I got into this beautiful industry of real estate. See you guys soon. Okay, so I made it back home to the house. So I'm about to upload the content for my camera onto my Dropbox. So that way my amazing assistant can edit those photos and I can get them sent over to my transaction assistant who is going to be uploading all the information onto the MLS so we can go live 
on the market before i get back to the work i wanted to share with you guys the story on how i became a real estate agent and it was a very interesting one because real estate wasn't something that i initially sought out to do <laughs> so originally i was running restaurants at the time i was an assistant general manager i'm not sure if i want to say the company name but it was a food gig okay and at the time i literally I don't think you guys understand the love of love did not like my job like I was going to work I was sitting in a car crying before I went in because I literally hated it that bad the general manager at the time was I'm legit like psycho <laughs> I'm not trying to be mean, but he wasn't crazy. He would literally like yell at the employees and like be super aggressive and like throw things. It was just like a crazy madhouse in there. And I literally like wanted to leave so bad. My older sister, Sharice, she was like, you should like look into real estate, look into real estate. And I literally, no lie. This is why whenever people ask me about me getting my license, I tell people I was not normal <laughs> because I did the class in literally three days. Yeah. I did it online. I did it at the ceshop.com and I think there was a discount, like 30% off discount. They always have like great deals where you can do the class for only like 70 or $100 or something like that. And I literally locked myself at home, shut off all distractions and worked at it for 19 hours a day literally for three days straight and I did the test the next morning and I had such a bad headache. <laughs> from information overload it was crazy so I got my license pretty quickly that was back in 2016 is when I got my license I didn't end up going full-time into real estate just yet I left that job <laughs> and became an assistant general manager for Panera Bread which was super great and in April 2017 is when I left that job I went to full-time entrepreneurship and that right there, guys, is the story in its own. But yes, so that's what motivated me to get my license was my older sister pushing me to do it because I hated my job. Well, it wasn't really my sister pushing me. It was more because I hated my job <laughs> and I wanted to change. And then um, I did my course online and I got my license like that. So comment down below if you guys want me to do like a Q&A or anything like that. Yeah, maybe I should do like a Q&A. So comment down below some questions. Maybe I can do a Q&A video to answer some questions for you guys. Maybe on the process, maybe on some things about myself or entrepreneurship or real estate. Whatever you want to know, comment down below and I'll make a Q&A video of it. But anyways, yeah guys. So I'm going to get back to work and then I will see you guys on the next video. Bye. <laughs>